Ah, the invisible selfie stick. A phenomenon that's probably into running for one of the biggest tech mysteries to date. I've seen a lot of people be confidently incorrect on this topic, and today, I call myself as one of them. Yes, I made a few mistakes in my previous explanations on this topic, so do accept my apologies on the matter. Today, I'll try to clear the air as quickly as possible. Here's the deal. Many shots with 360 cameras look like this. The camera appears to be floating in mid-air. Of course, the operator is holding it up by a selfie stick, but that stick is completely invisible. How? There are two prevailing theories, both of which are partially correct, but also quite wrong. Before I jump into this, do bear in mind that different manufacturers take different approaches. This is a general explanation that should cover most cases, but exceptions can exist. You know, just to cover all bases here. Anyway, the two theories are as follows. 1. The stick is removed by software. This theory heavily implies that the software involved seeks out the stick in an image and uses some fancy algorithm like AI to paint it out, replacing it with the background. Theory 2 is that the selfie stick sits perfectly in the blind spot of the camera. This theory seems to imply that the stick is well positioned such that the camera does not see it, and many explanations draw parallels to how we can't see our own nose even though it's literally right under our eyes. Let's start with theory 2. This was the one I endorsed, but the big implication that the camera doesn't even see the stick is false. Here's a raw image coming out of my Insta360 EVO. The stick is clearly visible. As for theory 1, the AI removal theory, I don't actually have evidence that it never happens. Some manufacturer could conceivably do this, but the fact of the matter is you don't need to actively paint out the stick to make it disappear. In other words, the best explanation lies somewhere in between the two. And here's the short version. The two raw fisheye images represent the two volumes captured by each of the camera's lenses. While commonly called hemispheres, these are really larger. The field of view exceeds 180 degrees. So in reality, barring objects that are practically pressed up against the camera, everything is visible. Yes, including the selfie stick at the bottom. But here's the crucial part. We ultimately want to combine or stitch these two images into one panoramic image. However, because the two lenses are physically offset from each other, they see the scene differently. Look at the alignment of my thumb in this picture, relative to the floorboards in the background. What each lens sees doesn't line up perfectly. Hence, when we stitch the two images together, something is going to get distorted. If we calibrate for things that are nearby, the things that are far away get doubled up. For example, in this scene, trying to combine the same seam on the selfie stick causes me to have two hands. On the other hand, calibrating for things that are far away means we'll have to stretch the two images further over each other. And as such, things that are closer to the edges get drawn into the scene, causing them to distort and disappear. We generally try to go for a middle ground to minimize distortion. But since the stick is so close to the camera, that part of the image usually gets squished so much the stick gets cropped out entirely. A lot of the time, you're able to go through a calibration procedure, which tells the software to re-look at the scene. By basically abusing this feature, you can kind of trick the software into shifting the stitch line around. And when it's placed unfavorably, the stick pops right back out. And that, folks, is what is hopefully a practical demonstration on the invisible selfie stick effect. Based on a raw image, we've established that the camera does capture the stick. There is no AI removal either because you can see the stick under the right conditions. The truth is, the stick disappears coincidentally because the stitching process creates a blind spot around the seam where the two hemispheres of video are joined. So nobody's entirely wrong here, which is wonderful. Still confused? Still not really sure what 360 cameras are doing and want to find out more? You're in luck. I'm doing a deep dive on this subject soon, so stay subscribed to this channel. That's all there is for today's video. Until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with nerdfirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video and are feeling generous, a donation to this channel will be greatly appreciated. There's a link on screen and in the video description for more details. Meanwhile, please do like, comment, and subscribe. This helps the channel tremendously and gives me the means to do more. Thank you once again, and I'll see you next time.